Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Hades. We're going to take out the classic run, the classic, the ultimate classic, the classic of the classic aspect of Achilles. That's right. Big cast damage with it. And for your pleasure, oh, I got to I got to set my settings here. Crystal beam, or at least that's the plan, at least here. I'm go ahead and fix some of this stuff real quick. Yeah, like that. Is that how I play this game? Boom. I got the uh, DPS meter in case we're curious about it. I'm going to try to remember it from henceforth. It is a little mod. Uh, if you just search uh, Hades DPS meter, pretty sure it's the first thing that comes up. I guess, uh, yeah, why don't we swap the shadow presence in case we get parting shot? I think that could happen. I'm not going to call it super likely. God's legacy because we need that dual boon. I guess we'll go Stygian Soul. Uh, it might go badly if we don't get additional cast somehow, but we'll kind of just go for the average thing with Artemis and everything. I don't know. I guess we got to play it by ear. Maybe it won't be Artemis. I don't know. Depends on uh, how Aphrodite, if and when she wants to appear, if she does appear at all. I don't know. Just make sure that Demeter behaves herself. And we pray to get lots of chaos basically after this. Ho ho! Get to start with an epic. Let's go for it. I mean, I don't know if there's a whole lot to say here. You drop the crystal beam. Boom. If you look at the DPS meter, ranged weapon is going to be the cast damage. If we get something like Arctic Blast, I guess that could, the DPS meter could help us with that, you know? But yeah, that could be interesting, I guess, in its own way. Whoop. Good. Wife and I watched the worst. Did I hear chaos? Oh, I did. Well, I found I watched possibly one of the worst and also one of the best movies ever. No, they're not the same movie in some weird backwards way. But I feel like I had to talk about it because it was just... <laughs> it's just... So both of them uh, were quite interesting in their own respect. Need plus one cast, please, please, please. Mm. I think we roll again. It's too important. Oh, ho! Eventually got it. It's more important than the cast damage. Trust, trust. That money... I think the money is actually more important before we see the first shot potentially here. Of course, we do want some palms, but whatever for now. So we saw everything everywhere all at once. Amazing movie, by the way. I had no idea what to think because uh, every synopsis or caption about the movie is just very un uncertain. Like, I you really have no idea what to expect going into that movie. But it's honestly possibly one of the best movies I've ever seen for so many different reasons. If you haven't seen it, I highly, rec I highly recommend it. But no, this isn't me gushing about uh, an Oscar-winning film, per se. No, this is going to be about a very special film. I think it's on Amazon Prime Video is where we saw it. And they got me with the old M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong grab. Because apparently it's his. Oh, flurry jab. Kind of you, game. Because uh, apparently it's a very recent movie of his, and it's called Old. It's simply called Old, as in you are old, you know? <laughs> and let me tell you, this movie was an atrocity. This movie was so bad. It's so horrendously bad. And you can tell it's going to be bad because, A, one of the first things that happens is M, M. Night himself is a major... I said my major character in the movie already like he's driving the truck around and then later on in the movie He's the guy that divulges all the secrets too. like he spills he spills the beans on the twist and everything himself It's just like come on man Come on. You can't just do that. You know, you can't just do that. You know what I'm saying? Well, he did it. He did it. So what is this movie about? I guess I'm gonna warn you right now if you really wanted to save yourself for this movie You're gonna have to stop watching this video because I'm gonna spill it all Ugh. Try to wait for Artemis or Afro or someone that is not these gods. You can see how that worked out. Dude. How did you do that? Oh my god. I was waiting for him to do the backstab. He's got two moves. The backstab and the not backstab. Golly gee. Curse of Vengeance, Urge to Kill? Curse of Vengeance might do more than Urge to Kill, realistically, you know? Ask for it. We'll be fine, right? We don't have customs on or anything. No more Ares, please. Come on. Show me the guys we want. So, the movie's called Old. Let me set Let me set the scene for y'all right here, right now. Picture this. Remote Tropical Island Resort, right? Sounds good. 
Family vacation. Slightly less good. Uh, deserted beach where they drop you off with a giant picnic basket with no cell reception. Really far away from the resorts. A lot less good all of a sudden, let me tell you. A lot less good. Jeez, give me the health here, I guess. So that's what they do. They take all these families. They come to this tropical resort. And uh, bad things start to happen, basically. And then the families are like, wait, why did we all wind up here? And then they recap all of a sudden, like 45 minutes into the movie. Like, yeah, it was kind of weird that they just paid for our trip to come here. And it was all expenses and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, yeah, it was weird, wasn't it? It was weird. Why are you here? Why, why did you think that you should bring your family, your wife, your husband, your children, your mother? Bring all these people here with you. I don't understand one bit. Just what I need. Glacial glare. What else we got? Glacial glare. Oh, baby. Okay, let's go. We still need Artemis, but that's okay. We can force her stuff. Glacial glare is harder to get, honestly. Until then, the, these beams are not going to be very special, I'd say. It's okay, though. We'll be fine. So yeah, big questions to be asked. But they drop him off at this beach. He's like, go have a nice relaxing time at this beach. Very quickly they realize they are trapped at this beach. How are they trapped in my ass? How can you be trapped at a beach? There is water. You can you can you can swim. There are so many things. Well, apparently the only way in or out of the beach is through this cove in the middle of the cliffs. And if you try to walk through that cove that they came in on, then you black out and appear back. <laughs> on the beach, in the sand. They even show them doing this, but they're, they're, the camera pans oh so conveniently away from them as they're winding back up on the beach. Ooh, chaos again, huh? Okay. Let's check it. So they just get dizzy and they're like, oh, this doesn't feel right. And they just wind up back on the beach. Like, it totally inexplicably. Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Free Hermes, huh? I don't want palms. Hermes will come back. I'm not really in a rush to get Hermes. Hermes has some things, but no Zeus. Crap. Okay, we pass on that. Take the hell so I don't get myself murdered here for this godlike setup here. Hoping for palms on the glare, you know? One, two. Bump, bump. Ah. So this cove, it, and it's one of those movies, they all do this, don't they? Like, they they encounter some kind of trouble, right? And like, what are we going to do? I know, let's try this. And it doesn't work immediately, so then they're like, oh well. And they never do it again, ever. They're just like, I guess that just will never work, no matter what we ever do in our lives. They'll never do it again. They, they never try anything anymore. They never try anything anymore. It's ridiculous. Hey, look at that cast damage right there. So, yeah, they try it like once or twice or something. And they're just like, oh, well. And then they act like they know exactly what's going on. And that pisses me off, let me tell you. They act like they know exactly what's going on. Based on them blacking out from walking through this stupid little valley alcove. It's like, oh, this must be happening then. It's like, how do you, you, what? You don't know, you don't know that. You have no idea. Like, what is that even, how would you ever understand, grasp that idea? Based on you blacking out and wandering back as a zombie and falling asleep on the sand right after that. I haven't even talked about what's going on. They're trapped at the beach. And on this beach, I hope I can even finish talking about this movie in the given time. And on this stupid beach, Time passes by much, much faster for their age, I guess. So I forget what they say, like 20 minutes equals a year or something like that, maybe. It might be, uh, like, this sounds kind of familiar. Like, no one's lasted more than, like, a couple days on this beach, it seems. And they got they got the, the whole gamut. They got the kids, they got grandma, and they got a bunch of middle-aged adults, basically. And the funny thing is that for oh nice auto reload for the adults right for the adults 
they just did not bother with trying to make them look older as the as the movie went on. Not even like the tiniest bit. Like you're most of the way through the movie, and the eight year old they brought with them now looks like a forty year old. But his parents like have aged about three days. I'm gonna guess from the look of the hair and makeup. They just didn't even try. I swear, they just didn't even try. They didn't bother with it. They brought grandma. She was dead within an hour. Uh, and then they got this crazy doctor guy who's there. I guess, I think they're trying to hint that maybe he's developing, I don't know, some kind of memory problem. It's kind of vague, like, what's going on with him, but he's losing it. And he's the only one with a weapon, a little pocket knife. And he immediately starts stabbing people left and right. Stabby Magoo. They must have called him. Dr. Stabby Magoo. He just starts stabbing people. But no one seems very concerned about this. He stabbed the man to death on the beach. One of the men. He just stabbed them to death. They're like, no. And then they just let him go wander off to his corner. They're just like, oh, well, I guess there it is. Like, <laughs> they really didn't give a shit about what Stabby Magoo was up to after that. They did not see him as a threat, apparently. More Demeter, no. We'll be fine without that. So the man that got stabbed to death, I feel like this is a key component of the movie. Guess what his name was? He was a uh, rap superstar by the name of Midsize Sedan. I did not even make that up. This man's name was Midsize Sedan. It's kind of vague what's going on with him because he was like already on the beach when they got there. And yeah, I don't know. They, they lost me whatever they were trying to do with Midsize. You know what I'm saying? I have no clue. Go, Meg, because these cats ain't cutting it. Okay, come on, let's go, Artemis. Help me. So he's dead. He was already there. His girlfriend washed up on shore. Doesn't really vibe. It doesn't really work with the whole premise that they're supposed to be growing old because he had been there for like for like multiple days, it seemed at that point. But he looked like a, a like a 25 year old or some shit like that wasn't working. He was getting like nosebleeds. Next? So, yeah, they're all getting old and shit like that. Uh, the kids are growing really quickly. There's three children total. There's a brother and sister from one family and a very young daughter from another family. And the movie kind of takes a weird turn because they get old, right? They get older. They become adults. And then they have, like, the two, you know, uh, not the brother and sister, but the brother and then the other girl who 20 minutes ago in the movie were children are suddenly having sex. And then she's pregnant and then she's delivering a baby all within about 90 seconds. It's just like, well, okay. Well, well okay. <laughs> Like, we didn't have to go this way. You know what I mean? Hmm. No legendary. That's all it is. We didn't have to go this way. Baby didn't make it. Baby didn't make it because, uh, I don't know. I guess a baby just, you know, that, that beach is fucked. You know, what else can we say? That beach is fucked, you know? Hit me up with that glare, baby. Don't have the dual boom, by the way very far away well i guess we're not far away we're potentially far away from it though so Good day, Lenny. And now? So i guess we're just we're just going vanilla vanilla beams right now and so they're trying to figure out different ways to get off this beach this there was like a supermodel was with them she didn't age a day at all for some reason they didn't even bother to try to make her look older instead they just gave her like bonitis or something like that and they, they turned her into, like, Spider Gollum for some reason. And she started, like, freaking everybody out. And she started freaking out the kids who were trapped in the cave. And then she just kind of, like, curled in on herself and perished. Like, that was the end of her story. So it's like, why did that just happen? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand at all. It makes no sense. Another guy takes a swim. It's like, I'll swim to the other side, and that's how we'll get out of here. He just washes up back on shore. They didn't feel like giving him, like, an interesting story, I guess. You know? Just like, yeah, just kill him off. Forget about it. You know what I mean? And then it's kind of down to the main family that they showed from the beginning of the movie after that. As far as I, as far as I can remember. It's kind of just down to the main fam. So it's the two parents and the two kids... 
uh, eventually. Someone tried to... Oh, yeah. The young girl tried to climb the cliffs. She just fell. The, yeah. That that was it. You know, everyone just starts dying off one by one. And the movie just kind of very... Becomes very predictable very quickly. She falls to her death. Hmm. Cast? We use the two keepsakes. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. I have one, two, three. We can't sell any of that. Okay. I was thinking about palm mobile boons. I'd probably sell urge to kill if we could here. Reduce the number of palm mobile boons, and then that way maybe we could uh get guaranteed palms on glacial glare slash beam. Better. More. More. I don't know if I should spend a roll here though. I don't know. Oh, you don't have to. You just don't gotta with the skill. You just don't gotta even do it when you got the skill, baby. So you're down to the family, the initial fam. The parents are dying. One of them's going blind. The other one's like losing their hearing. It's like that. And like, is that how this stupid beach works? You know what I mean? Like they don't, they, again, they don't look older like at all. Which doesn't vibe with the whole kids are clearly substantially older thing. It's not like, oh, well, you just don't look that much older from the beach. No, no, they just, I don't know. They just decided to make it weird for some reason. And then they just die of old age, I believe. And so it's down to the two kids after that. And they got to decide. And then I guess then all of a sudden they're just like, that's it. It's time for us to get out of here. They waited until about eight people had died. And then they're like, it's time to get serious now. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? You can't just do that. It should be said. It should be said that they gave them shitloads of food because apparently you need lots of food, but you don't see them eat except for this one scene when the pregnant girl got super hungry and she just starts mounding this pasta salad. She literally takes her fist and just shoves it right in her mouth. I'm just so hungry. Is all she says. It's just like, oh my god, oh my god. Poseidon mirage shot. Um, yeah, you kind of want to fill. The possible boons here and everything. I uh, sorry, uh, fill the god pool anyway at this point. She was mounding that. Anyway, they had a ton of food apparently. Even though they had they were only there for like, I don't know, 30 hours, I'm gonna guess or so. If I remember correctly. And at this point in the movie, I'm just like, oh my god. Alright, just tell me tell me what's going on here. Just tell me. You know what I mean? So the way they get out, they get they got some hint from some stupid little boy. That has to do with coral reefs. Coral reefs, even. They got some note that mentioned that, yeah, they don't like the coral reefs or some jazz, you know? It's like, okay, that's it. We got to swim through the coral reefs. And that's, all, that's what they had to do. They swam underwater, kind of somehow, through the reefs, and that got them out? Like, kind of like, that's it? You know? And, all right. Again, like, couldn't have brainstormed this a little bit earlier in the movie. Here we go. Uh, need that duo boon. Okay, we got Demeter over there, too. Uh, mirage shot. We're, that's a... Now, if we can just get the other more important duo boon here. So now we have double beams going off. See you later. Thank you. So they swam through the coral reefs and they get back. So while this is going on, this is when M. Knight decides to have his little divulgence as to what's going on. So he has a meeting with his team of scientists back near the resort. And they just they just lay it on like we're, we must be the stupidest, stupidest audience they've ever met, I swear. They must think that about this. Because they just, they explain every single, oh no, we didn't get it. I wonder if I should have taken the special there instead. It'll come back. Trust. It'll come back. Trust. So M. Knight's sitting there and he's just explaining it all away as if his scientists somehow don't already know all these things. And he's like, the Lord blessed us 
with the beach and the minerals underneath it so that we could test our drugs and cure more diseases. Some some stupid shit like that. Basically, like you know, I don't know if it's like a playing God thing or what. But they're, they were trying to cure diseases by putting a bunch of sick people on the beach and having them age really rapidly. And he's like, it worked because we figured out something. <laughs> It was all quite vague, to say the least. Sorry, right, give that the beam. All right, we finally got our extra cast. I mean, our third cast. God damn. Now, if only we had gotten the actual dual boom that is necessary for this. Go, my beams. Doo doo, ba doo. So that, that was the big reveal. Like there's a minerals under the beach that make people get old. No, nope, they don't tell you what kind of minerals, how those minerals got there, why they're there, who's funding this program, or anything of this nature. Nothing is divulged. It's as simple as that. So the brother and sister wind up back at the resort and it's like the big expose. It's like the big expose. And also M. Knight admits, his character admits that like we had to lose a few groups of people. Sacrifices were made to better the research. So like they're admitting they, they killed people on this beach. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, the brother and sister wind up back at the resort. It's like bad news, everybody. They're, they're making people old on this beach and shit over here. And they're all like, oh no, what do we do? This place is gonna shut down now. It's like, okay, why? So you draw the line at often these people who are gonna expose you, but you're okay with killing people like on the beach itself. It's like, what, what do you mean? It's not even like they escape the island and go to the authorities back on mainland. No, they just show up back at the hotel entrance shouting. They knock over some kind of egg cup or some jazz. And they're just like, I got some news, everybody. And they warn a bunch of new guests, like, you better get out of here. It's not so great. The end. <laughs> this won't go on the, record. the end. That is it. That is old on Amazon Prime. Please don't watch it. Don't give them any money. All right. Demeter Artemis. Demeter Artemis. Okay, here we go. Buy this first. I'll pay for that. Hmm. Want Glacial Glare. Didn't get it. <gasps> oh. Shit. Stolen and get it. Hmm. Nut butter. Hmm. Take the call, I suppose. I mean, we're doing all right. You know, there's good bad movies. There's funny bad movies. There's movies that, like, I can kind of, like, you know what? This is humorously bad. But that one was not it. I was just waiting for it to end the entire time. There was no moment where I was like, I am thoroughly enjoying this. It was just like, all right, come on, get to the point over here. I know M Night. It, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, a year for M Night. You know what I mean? Things ain't what they used to be. Ah! Something keeps hitting me. There we go. We got the ball. Beams. Ah, oh, stop hitting me, dude. I don't have that a lot of health. Yeah, the beams don't do so hot <laughs> against moving targets. <laughs> dude, could you stop moving for a sec? Nope, nope, nope. Theseus says nope. Nope, nope, he's decided that's not part of his moveset anymore. Now that he's gonna stand still, I bet it's gonna be like nothing. He's gonna be like butter. Rich creamery butter. See what I mean? Rich creamery butter. Alright, we need some help here, game. Castle did most of the damage. <laughs> Second was, uh... Uh, Meg dropping for 5k. 
Third was the call, interestingly. I didn't even bother. I don't think I, I don't know if I even really pressed the attack button, honestly. Okay, cast related things. There are none. Okay. I think we'll leave on Charons because getting extra casts from Wells would be hilarious. We should be okay. We should be okay. Getting a couple more bombs on, bombs, bombs on Glacial Glare would be very, very fun, I'd say. Let's see, any money? No monies. 173, Demeter Artemis, Demeter Artemis. Okay, we got a Demeter. We got a Poseidon. We got an Artemis. Okay, so I think we'd prefer Artemis give us the doodad. Then maybe we can get something fun like Glacial... Sorry, get something fun like Arctic Blast for the duo. So maybe we do... Let's just do Artemis first. I, I do want to hit Glacial Glare with the Palm. So I guess I should have done that, but... Going any longer without the dual boon doesn't sound entertaining to me. Boink. It wouldn't do it to me again, right? This is like the fourth chance. Fourth? Fifth? They wouldn't do that to me. They know me here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of us have seen movies, some bad movies, and you had like a good time. It's probably mostly about who you watch it with, maybe. And there's this indecipherable difference that I am incapable of describing. Where it goes from being like, ha ha, I can't believe how stupid this is, to just be like, oh. Why did they make this? You know? Old was one of those. Old was the latter. I don't know why I meg there, to be honest. Oh, you're one of those. Ugh. Go beams. And do a boon. Your cast stronger attracts foes more effectively. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. So we got some big palms. We also got Demeter. But you really want the palms. Fudge. No dice, huh? One more on the glare would just make it hilarious. You know how many you know how many beams we'll have out? I mean we'll settle on the cast damage if we have to. Look at those beams go, baby. So I do want Demeter, but I don't know. The palms are probably better than something like Arctic Blast. I guess we'll see how much money we wind up with. You think Arctic Blast would actually do something maybe in terms of damage? In a build like this, probably. It's kind of not really fair compared to the average build that contains a lot of Demeter, though. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. We got Mirage Shot. We got Clarity. We got Glare. We got the Sack. 352. Oh, let's go! Lovely. We have 365. Hmm. Is there a money one here? Poseidon can't really do anything. Let's do another. Let's do another real quick. Let's do another real quick. Show the true power of the beams. See you later. <laughs> kind of spread the beams out here. The call builds up crazy fast here now, too. So if we got, if we got Arctic Blast, it would actually be quite interesting. I am curious how it would turn out on the meters. No way. Dum -dum. I think the best, hmm, best bad movie. I mean, there's Troll 2. That's a classic. Best bad movie. Is Evil Dead a good, bad movie? Is it, does it fall into the bad category, really? I don't know. I love Evil Dead. I wouldn't necessarily think so. I feel like it's actually pretty quality. Evil Dead 1 and 2. Then you got all the other later movies that are actually 
pretty quite good. The show is great. Highly recommend. Okay. Here we go. This is it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm sad to say we did not get Arctic Blast. I really wanted to. I uh, don't really care. I really wanted to. I'm sorry. We get to see how good Killing Freeze is, maybe, because that Decay Dot, right? Like, how powerful is the Decay Dot? Decay damage 20 every half of a second. Hmm. It's kind of interesting, actually. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. There's no. I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a very easy fight. <laughs> this was insanely stacked. Three extra casts from Chaos. Absolute insanity. Disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Nothing else practically mattered. Go, my beams. Maybe you're not impressed yet. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, he's back. Hold on, we got to keep setting him up. Can we get a full stack here? It reached 10k. Holy crap, watch the health bar. Can we get an instant one in phase three? Go ahead, dad. Oh no. Oh, the health bar reset at the end. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Truly really amazing. Fastest phase three ever? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Stack up those beams, baby. Stack up those beams. I guess the DPS meter kind of doesn't matter because the cast killed them faster than anything else could ever do anything. I didn't even get to use Meg. How did this build work in case you wanted to skip ahead to the end here? Well, I mean, crystal beam, crystal clarity. Three casts from Chaos is pure insanity. That, that doesn't happen. That does not happen. Glacial Glare. But this is the build. Everything else is like... Like Mirage Shot is gravy. You don't have to have Mirage Shot. You'll have a good time without it. But yeah, just like one cast. Just these things and you'll have a pretty good time. You don't even need a really high level there. For the Glare, it's just funnier this way. You know what I mean? Hope you all enjoyed it. Let's take a look at the, the thing here. Yep. <laughs> Killing Freeze did the same amount as uh, the Call Boon actually did, as far as I can tell. There's Max Super and Regular Super, I guess, huh? Uh, but yeah, there's really not much to say about it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.